All right. Start seeing some stars, including Mars, which is close to the Milky Way. Uh, so I'm going to start getting... There's still plenty of light out, so I could easily see what's going on. I just have this light shining on my camera so this other camera can record without any problems. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my camera here. And I will use this just so you people can see. I'm going to go ahead and change... All right, there's my uh, um, white balance. I got to set 3800 Kelvin. As you can tell, it's set. I'm gonna bump up my ISO. All right, I'm gonna go again about 6400, and I will go to bulb mode too. Bulb. Now this is set at bulb. I'm going to double check and make sure my lens is at f2.8. I'm going to double check make sure the focus is right. Proper. My uh, lens is set. Now, with the bulb, since I'm going to be shooting with this lens for 35 seconds, since it's a 14 millimeter on a full frame camera, I have to go to bulb. Bulb mode. Anything over 30 seconds has it be bulb mode. For me, for a Canon, and I recommend using it if you have a Canon. It'll work for most Canons is Magic Lantern. It's freeware, free software. Um, it's not recommended by Canon themselves to load it on, on because it's an additional software onto your uh, computer, uh, camera. But I can't guarantee anything. That I, That is a warning I have to give you that it could potentially damage your camera and void warranty but I have it on both these cameras and I've never had a problem and I've heard many 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 people who have done it and never had a problem so more likely you will not have a problem but just keep that in mind and um, you can go online do some research on Magic Lantern there's a lot of tutorials on Magic Lantern I might do some of my own later but there's plenty online so I'm gonna go to Magic Lantern Right here, bulb timer mode. Uh, shoot bulb timer mode. That acts actually as a cable release. It's set. Now, if camera's not on bulb mode, it will not work. There's a little red dot here saying it will not work. So I have to pull it. Sure, it's on bulb mode. And then I hit the trash can. There we go. Okay, now it's showing bold mode, 35 seconds. So that is the maximum I can shoot with this uh, Rockinon 14mm and 5D full framed combination. If you don't want to risk it with Magic Lantern or if you do not have a camera that you could put Magic Lantern on or if your camera does not have some kind of built in bulb timer, let me take that off real quick. Bulb timer, you, I, you would need a cable release if you're going to go over 30 seconds but every camera without having to go to bulb mode will do 30 seconds and most cameras you're not going to need to go over 30 seconds for shooting a milky way but with this combination that i have i will i can and i will the maximize the light gathering capability 6400 iso 14 millimeter lens f 2.8 at a 35 second exposure, it'll really maximize the light gathering capability. So to activate bulb timer, uh, when you set it the time, it, it's just a half shutter push for about one second. Now if your camera is on a half shutter focusing, which I don't actually recommend if your camera's capable of back button focus which we can get into in a little bit here um, I would do that but otherwise I mean I wouldn't even have I would make sure it's on manual focus at that point and then it will count down a few seconds and then activate